hi guys this is abhishek in this video i am going to show you uh, what exactly gherkin means uh, in my previous video i have covered regarding the agile right the user story and the acceptance criteria the same i am going to tell the how how we are going to write the acceptance criteria using this gherkin so uh, what is the gherkin means it is a business readable and domain specific language that lets you to describe the software behavior without detailing how the behavior is implemented what does mean exactly means like see we have a business or a product on our right um, they will be ha not having a full technical knowledge right so what they will be doing they will be writing this uh, uh, acceptance criteria in a simple plain english uh, that everyone understand right we are going to write that i will be explaining the below but Uh, using the gherkin format uh, we will be writing the acceptance criteria okay so we are going to achieve by using the gherkin one is like uh, it serves two purposes one is documentation another one is automated tests so um, what does mean agile means like why we are going to agile the very first thing is like to reduce the documentation right we do lot of documentation in waterfall model and other models right here everything on one face in a simple format will be doing in agile so so this gherkin serves that one documentation it serves as a test case it does as a documentation for the business and it is the same um, requirement for the developers and it will be same for everyone will be on a single face and with less documentation with more of clarity so i will tell you how it serves as a documentation or automated test so uh, how they are going to write this uh, um, acceptance criteria right using this given when then keywords so what exactly they are right so given is something we can say prerequisite or the put the system in a known state so what all requirements we need uh, to get it there to start uh, with the testing so that we put it here okay uh and when is something uh it describes the action let's say you are performing a click or uh, entering some values into the fields or drop down values selecting that all operations whatever you perform right in your application that you, you will be using when and then is final final results validations uh, so whether the text is there or image is there or you are validating some of the records right that all will come in a final validation or the observations that we have that you will be using this particular then and we have and also extension of this one so you can extend with any of the when given so anyone let's say you have uh, four, four to five uh, five things you need to validate in the same scenario then you can you can use and to the extension of this then or in the similar way you you want to click multiple um uh, multiple clicks uh, in the same page so that time you can use the and also here click uh, so on so button and uh, enter this uh, fields using and you can use and in either way okay so just i have given a one example so navigate using a url this is a prerequisite right we without using this uh, navigating to this particular website we are not going to perform any action so this is a prerequisite so for us so we are writing this one as in a given state navigate using url this particular site we are navigating in this line and when is as i said describes the action we are going to click on a blog button so we have a button uh, called blog and we are going to perform an action on it by clicking that okay then is something uh, now we are going to validate exactly this is our test case right what exactly we are doing so validate the blog post header so we are we are, we are going to validate the that particular blog post this is the hard coded parameter now this is all hard coded we are hard coded these values uh, the, uh, so it should be always a double quotes whatever the parameters you pass right that should be in a double quotes and this is a hard coded ones so if they have written only uh, header uh, saying that please validate a scenario outline uh acceptance criteria does anyone knows like how to do it or anyone like let's say qb uh, developer the new person who has come is not aware how to do then this simple thing will reduce lot of confusions 
and uh, discrepancies or uh, misinterpretations among the team the simple thing again they will be writing high level uh, this thing in acceptance criteria what is required um, so developer will be developing for the same but coming to the QA they can add more scenarios based on this uh, uh, this acceptance criteria they will be elaborating more QA and event coming to the event people they will be validating only the um, uh, you know customer based scenarios like end user based scenarios they are going to validate so in this way it sums uh, documentation for all the members in the team as well as you can use the same uh, same acceptance criteria in your cucumber future file for automated tests so whenever you are showing your automation test code right to the ba or mm, who is not having a technical background they will be not that much not interested but when you show this particular feature file and run in front of them so telling that so and so scenarios i have covered the very back end only will be coding that uh, particular selenium code whatever the tools that you are using you will be coding that particular very back end of this one so the front end only is visible to the uh, non technical people so it will be clearly understand what you are doing and uh, whole team will be in a single phase so yeah this is all about gerkanization guys so thanks for watching um, if you like this video please do like share and subscribe